Hello guys and welcome to this quick tutorial. Today I will show you how to start the engines of the A320neo in the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. This is just a very quick tutorial for those virtual pilots who just want to get the aircraft started and take off because the engines are usually off if you set your spawn point to the gate. Of course you can press Ctrl plus E to start the engines automatically but I think the manual way is way cooler. So here we go. We start off by turning on the battery master switches on the overhead panel. If you have external power available, you also turn it on. That was the second button I pressed, which was green, but now is blue. And in green it showed a veil on it, which means uh, external power is available. Next we check that the engine generators display fault. The next step is to turn on the engine bleed air switches. Those are those two switches. They should be on by default. Then we start the APU by pressing the APU master switch followed by the APU start switch. Then we wait until the APU start switch shows a veil on it in green. We can also turn the beacon on to show the ground crew that something happens on the airplane. If the APU is available, which it is now, you can push the APU bleed button. Thereafter you can turn off the external power, we don't need that anymore. And afterwards we can turn on the engine fuel pumps. So now we are done with our before starting engine checklist. Here you have the checklist in text form, so pause the video or take a screenshot, whatever you need to do. Alright, continuing with the starting engine list. At first you have to check that the throttle is idle, otherwise the plane will start rolling when you started the engine. Then turn the engine mode selector to the right to ignition slash start. So now you turn on engine master number two. Engine number two is usually started first because it feeds the yellow hydraulic system, which amongst other things is responsible for pressurizing the parking brake. So now you just wait until the engine spools up a little bit and afterwards you can turn on engine master number one. Then you wait again until both engines are stabilized at around 19.5% and one. You can check by looking at the big screen in the middle and read out uh, two indications on top. And again you can see the whole starting engine list right here. If everything is stabilized you can go back to your overhead panel and turn off the APU bleed and the APU master switch. The last step is to switch the engine mode selector back to the normal position in the middle. Et voila! Now you have two running engines. At the time I'm recording this video there's a bug in the game that if you shut down the APU engine 1 dies after around 10 to 20 seconds. It happened to me like 16 times already. So be careful if you want to do a whole flight just leave the APU on and everything will be fine. But that's it already. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!